show of 2024. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Abrams alongside meteorologist Jim Cantori and Jordan Steele. New Year's Day off to a very nice start overall across the country. Yeah, we got a little, uh, you know, bips and bobs here into the Northeast, but otherwise it is loads of sunshine. Jordan, that's going to change though. We're going to turn into a quite an active period here coming up. Bips and bobs. Our entire team here at Pattern. Welcome into the show, the first climate change talk show. I'm Steph Abrams. And I'm Jordan Steele. We hope 2024 brings the positive changes we need mm -hmm. for you, for our planet. And of course, we want our planet to thrive. And that starts with people who are doing their part to make the world a better place. Yeah, we're highlighting their efforts today with our special Faces of Change edition of Pattern. And we hope that these stories are going to actually help inspire you in this new year. First up is a young man who is sharing his love of the planet with the next generation. Yes, Quincy Q. Shannon is shattering stereotypes by getting black and brown kids involved in winter sports and is leaving a lasting impression. Plastic bags are among the most common polluted items in the world. That's why beautiful yeah. art attractions. Uh, they attract a swarm of people. Other art attracts a swarm of insects. This is really cool. So check out how an artist and biologist in Louisiana is using his expertise to bring awareness to endangered wildlife. I was going to say, usually when you see like these scenes with people with jars of animal, it's like some horror movie or some like creepy scene. But in this case, it's like really good. Yeah. I couldn't tell what some of that stuff was no, in those jars, not. but it didn't matter. It was Doesn't still matter. cool looking. And then with like, the attracting the bugs, like how often do you see a bunch of people like, yay, let's <laughs> attract bugs and like look at them and everything. Yeah, it's beekeepers always, are like that. You know, you know like, <laughs> usually people, instead of having that blue light, it's like the zapper. Right, you know, get them out, out of there. here. Gross. All right, let's go ahead and get a weather update here from Molly. Okay, so as we move on, our goals for cleaner energy, they can't really happen without batteries. Right now we're getting more efficient.